Hey everybody, how's it going? I've got another music video reaction slash review coming at you today. And this time it is for Flower by Sia or Jinsu, who of course is part of JYJ, but this is a solo track. And the teasers for this looked pretty interesting, so I want to jump right in and let's check it out. Scary mask wearing dude. Okay. Take my hand. You know I'm here with you. Say my name. Who has a gold terminator head? Okay. It's pretty cool. Tadro Kago Iso. Nobody can help me. Sounds like they left the click track on. what's going on with the music video, but definitely an interesting song so far. Looks like love is pain. I tell you it's okay, Jagan Bichina, do what do me, Sam Kitchina, no day.
Wow, that was uh, really different, and I'm going to try to ignore that and focus on the music because I'm sure everybody's going to be talking about the music video, and I don't know what he was intending to portray. So let's just set that all aside and jump in and check out the music end of things, which was very, very interesting, which I have a feeling might get a little bit overlooked because of how cinematic the music video was. So let's go through and listen again and see what we can pick up on. Right from the beginning, they have kind of a long extended intro. Um, in this case, I don't really mind it because it kind of tells the story and continues the storyline of the music video along. Um, some music videos have done it a way I didn't really like, where they just stop the music video and kind of ruin the flow of the song. Um, in this case, it was more visual based and story based, and it didn't really break up the song too much. So, um, actually, the slow, quiet kind of intro was kind of effective musically, too, besides helping out the storyline of the music video. Got this scary dude in the mask. Very, very sort of delicate music. You know, he's throwing a severed robot head. But they have very, like, dreamy, delicate sounding music box music. Uh, it's an interesting contrast. And then almost without realizing it, the song starts. Sounds almost like they left the click track on. That sounds similar to like a Pro Tools uh, click track. I really like the grit he puts in his voice there. And then of course these vocals are just massive. Very good arrangement. Then listen carefully, you've got like an opera singer just belting out long notes kind of on the left channel. Just kind of under his vocals. It's kind of a kind of an interesting choice. I'm surprised they didn't just have him doing all the vocals, but they definitely have like some operatic type vocals going on in the background to sort of supplement the song. And then the backing track itself, um, there isn't a whole lot going on under the vocals uh, to support it. I think I would have liked to hear the backing track, since it is kind of like a movie theme, you know, it sounds almost like music from a movie, I would have liked to hear the backing track swell a little bit more on the chorus and uh, support the vocals, because the vocals are really carrying it. He's singing like crazy, you know, he's, see what I mean? And that vocals just swell. See what I mean? And then the vocals just swell into the chorus here. It's really epic, but the backing track isn't really supporting it. It's kind of quiet, doesn't have a lot of impact. That's kind of an interesting and strange choice that they went with. And then that just blasting opera singer under his vocals too. Gives it a very operatic, movie theme kind of feel. But the backing instrumentation doesn't really support that as much. But the vocals are absolutely awesome. I really like the arrangement, I like the song, I like the vocal parts that he's singing. It's just a little surprising that they didn't like supplement them a little more. See there we heard a little bit more like strings and orchestra playing, um, but I would have liked to hear a little bit more of that. It's all there, it's just not as present as I would have liked it to really make the song intense. Overly dramatic, you know, this, this is a very dramatic song. Why not go all the way and make it extremely dramatic? Some great ad-libs here. Again, they're a little bit hard to hear. They're a little bit buried. Just everything's a little subdued in this mix. I really like the end phrase and the vocal part there. Um, just sounds really cool. I'll run it back a little bit so you can hear that again. Um, right here. That part.
Just some really interesting orchestration and arranging. I really enjoyed the vocals and performance. Uh, fantastic singing going on here. Executed perfectly, and overall I really enjoyed this song. Of course, I pointed out a few things with the uh, mix and arrangement. I would have liked it to have a little bit more emotional impact and dynamics and swells going up to the choruses, which were very epic in the vocal part but the rest of the song like didn't quite match the intensity of the vocals. So other than that, really epic song, extremely well done. I like it, and I'm looking forward to checking out the rest of this album. So hope you guys enjoyed this reaction slash review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Sharing on Twitter, sharing on forums, sharing on Facebook. All that stuff really helps us out, and I'll see you guys next time.